Hey, what's up guys? Sam Man back with another figure review and we are back with the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice Armored Batman or Mech Suit Batman, whatever you want to call it. This is made by DC Collectibles. Now, before I get into this, I did pick this up at GameStop because it seems like GameStop is the only one that has these in stock minus Wonder Woman. The Batman, the regular Batman, I did get at BigBadToyStore.com. Click in the link in the description. The one thing I want to say first is actually Big Bad Toy Store is about $30 cheaper than GameStop. So if you're gonna go to GameStop, uh, you know you can't wait till it gets in stock um, at Big Bad Toy Store, which is you know pretty much what I did. Then you know you are gonna have a little bit of a difference as far as the pay goes. But um, if you guys don't mind the wait, then you know pre-order it at Big Bad Toy Store. So the packaging is pretty nice. You got a really nice image of the Batman right here. Hopefully you can see it with that glare, and um, you know it's a DC collectible style packaging right there at the top it does have batman versus superman on this side you get a really cool image of the armored batman it tells you the sculptor james marsano so this measures measures 12.5 inches high and you come over here in another close look at the figure or statue and all the figures in the back so i just need to pick up superman and then wonder woman when she you know becomes available because she isn't available just yet so let's go ahead and, and uh, take the figure out and we're going to take a close look at armor batman Now, the base on this one, because I did pick this guy up um, already, it was a display piece, but the base is pretty much the same as the other Batman. So, but this one's actually more sturdy. It'll stay on a lot better. So I'm not even gonna bother showing you guys really the difference because the, it's, it's overall the same exact base. Now, looking at the figure, because he doesn't come with any accessories, I mean, just looking at the close-up on this guy, look how beautiful he is. Very, very well sculpted. And I did mention this before on, on uh, some of DC Collectibles figures. The skin tone and the lips, they use some kind of color that I don't really like. And I didn't really like it on the um, Batman, the regular Batman suit. I don't mind it on this one. It doesn't look too bad. But you can see the, um, the helmet, how it has all the wears, the scratches, and the paint on this is so nice. You have this strap right here, which is an actual strap. It's not like a, something that's sculpted on. So it is actual material you can see right here. And then you have all the armor. So we're gonna go through this step by step on this figure. Look at this. Look how dope this is, man. Got all that. And then you have the um, the utility belt, which you can see. Very cool. See the wear on this. You have the gauntlets here, which are gold. The uh, Batman didn't have that for some reason. He's got closed fists. He's in a really cool pre-posed pose, so you can get him like in a like a battle action when he goes. You know, if you want to display him next to Superman or something, you can see some of the texture from the outfit that he's wearing underneath the um, the body armor. And then you have the legs right here. Look at this. Just look at that. So nice. This is done very very well. And they even got the the detailing of the little spikes at the bottom of the feet. He's even got little like the little gauntlet spikes right here on the side of the boots, but you see like the detailing on here? Just like the paint wash and everything just looks so good. The cape is one thing I'm very pleased with. It does have a wire cape, like right there you can see it kind of bends, but it's way better of a material. This is actually way better cloth than the other Batman. The other one was kind of like a, kind of like a um, umbrella feel to it, but this is a lot better. And then you have the upper part of the back of the shoulder here. And then here's a back look of the figure. So you can see all the cool detailing. You got the strap that's going around here. Look at the texture right there in the outfit. Very, very nice. Now, of course, this doesn't have any kind of articulation. It's just in a pre-posed, you know, um, uh, position, but it is just a beautiful piece. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys a little bit of size comparisons with um, some figures. Here he is next to the Hot Toys Man of Steel action figure, which is um, a 12 inch figure as well. So you can see if Batman were standing up straight, he'd be a little bit taller 
than um, Henry Cavill in this Man of Steel figure. So this is in scale with Hot Toys. So right here is both DC collectible figures from Batman vs Superman. So we have the Batman on the right and the armored Batman obviously on the left here. Very, very cool. So you can see the differences in the cape because this one's like has a weird kind of material they used. Again, like umbrella, but it does have the wire all the way through. This one does as well, but the cloth is um, a lot better. But both figures are great. The paint is pretty much, or the base, I'm sorry, is pretty much the same. They didn't change anything on that. But you can see some of his regular suit underneath the um, the armor on the armored Batman. But such a great figure, yeah. guys. Guys, there's my review today. We're taking a look at the DC Collectibles Batman versus Superman armored batman this is a great figure i can't say that enough you guys are definitely going to be happy with this if you guys weren't happy with the regular batman version which i still think is a great figure uh this one beats it like by so many like ways it just totally surpasses that other figure and um all i need is a man of steel to go with this and i'll have a very very cool setup and these do fit in detox cases obviously you know if you guys aren't worried about that uh one thing i wish this would have had but i don't think dc collectibles does it is if it would have had like some kind of light up feature for the eyes, but I guess we'll have to wait till um, you know a different toy company makes that unfortunately. But this is a great, great piece. Highly recommend you guys get it. They did a great job in um, bringing the armored Batman to real life or to action figure, I should say, and the, the wear and everything like in the shoulders. I mean, come on, you can see all the wearing and everything. It just looks really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think about this figure. Are you guys going to pick them up? And where are you guys planning to get this? Are you going to go to Big Bad Toy Store or are you guys going to head over to GameStop? I really want to know where you guys are going to go pick this up at. So if you have this, let me know what you guys think about it. If you don't, let me know what you guys think either way. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace.